Hi guys, welcome to a very quick uh, look at how to connect the Zero Free Probe to a Carbide Motion or pretty much any other board. Um, the logic's the same. So this is a, an older version of the board, I think it's a 2.3 version, but the principle is the same. Uh, it's quite straightforward. Now, uh, in this, I assume that most people who have bought the probe will have bought the limit switches uh, from either proximity switches, which means you will have had something like this connected to a power pin. Um, if you do not, uh, you can use a s standard uh, DuPont extension cable. And if you don't have any of these, let me know and I will sort that out for you. The first thing we're going to do is connect the power. So that is the top left hand corner here and we're just going to plug that in. So that's the power cable. And if we look at the zero free probe, we're going to connect the red cable to that or red or brown, depending how colorblind you are. Now the next thing is, it's not quite um, clear here, but the connectors are different. Uh, black, you know, you'd assume that's ground. It is not, it is trigger and blue is ground. So when we look at the board, along the top here, we've got loads of different switches. Now, uh, normally it's, it's Z, uh, what's that? Uh, X, Y, Z, E stop, and then probe. Some boards don't have the um, uh, feed holes at the end, some do. Now, what we're gonna do is it just reference your board, make sure you're connected to the correct connectors. Uh, in this case, we're going to go to the probe and the first connector is going to be the trigger. So that's the black cable. And then blue is ground. That's the second cable along. Let's bring that in so you have a look. It is worth noting that the DuPont connectors or even Molex 2.5 uh, connectors will be tight at this stage. It's just how it is. Um, now what we're going to do is power up the board and give it a quick test. Put our power in. And turn it on. And now you can see we've got a green light on our Zero Free Probe. The magnet is our ground. And we're going to quickly test by just touching. And there you have it. That's how you connect a zero free probe to the carbide motion board. If you do not have a DuPont connector like this or like this because you haven't purchased limit switches from me, do let me know and I will sort that out. Thank you for watching.